Why are email filters important and why should you be using them? Now picture this, you are receiving emails from 40 different addresses. Each one of them sends you at least two emails per day. And if you look at your inbox after some th something like a week, you will notice that there is a lot of emails and most of them are disorganized, like mixed up, and you may not be able to sort them out easily. So at times, you may miss out on an important email or you'll have to like sol sort or such. Now email filters help you organize your email addresses per sender or per a specific category so it's easier to just click on the specific sender if you want to view all emails that they have sent you so in this video we're going to look at how to create an email filter and attach all emails coming from a specific address to one label so that you can easily just go and click and open it and read it so first thing you want to do is go and log into your gmail and try to sort out these email addresses now if you've not logged in or created an account that's an easy step and there is a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it now once you're on your gmail now for instance if i look at my emails here in the primary they may not be as much but if i go to things like promotions i have like lots of emails here and they are all mixed up now if i want to filter specific email addresses let's say i want to filter emails from this address here so that they go into a specific label like i have done here so what i'll do is i'll just go to the settings tab on the top right so that settings icon and then i'm going to go to see all settings now once i've opened all settings i'll just go to first second third fourth in the fifth fifth tab and then i'll come here and click on create a filter now once i've clicked on create a filter i want to enter the email address where i want to like categorize all emails from so in this case i can just type this email address here so i pick something like that and and put it there then now i am just going to say create filter down here now when a message is uh is an exact match from your search criteria which is this address i want to add it to a specific label here so i'm just going to say apply choose a label so if i don't have a label i'll just create a new label here and just name it margin size for instance and then i'll create it i'm not going to add add it under any though you can like nest them have labels under other labels now if i click on apply here create filter the filter will have been created so if you look at this you have matches all emails from this address will be added to this filter and you should have noticed that the uh, label has appeared here so i want to show you right now if i open this here it will not show any conversations because there's still yet to be an email from that now i'm going to go to a different address here the the address that i've just created that from i'm going to open gmail and send an email to my own address and then you will notice that it will go exactly into that filter so once i'm here i'm just going to compose an email and um, let that open compose and then i say recipient i'll enter my own email address and then i say subject um, label setting for instance and then i just say hello there hello there this is an email to test filters and labels wrong spelling so once you've done that i'm going to send this email remember i'm sending it from this address that I have uh, filtered on the other end and created a label for. So, if I go back to my own personal email address and go to the inbox, I I need to wait for a few seconds. Then you see now the email is here. Now, even before uh, going to the labels, you notice that it has this tag here. It means that it has been sent to that specific level now if i click on the level here that email will come into this uh, place now all emails sent from this address will be sent to this specific level and i have a, a slightly much more 
organized inbox and i will not have to go to the inbox to search for different emails because it will be sent to that specific level that i've just created with the labels you're not going to miss any important emails with access issues you simply have to select an address create a label and send all emails to that specific label that you have created if you've not watched our full gmail tutorial watch this video that pop-ups here and don't forget to like this video, subscribe it and share it with friends to help them learn more about how to use Gmail and organize their email inbox.